I first. Now let's put the final aspect. That's the the Venn diagram and also the notations. At first, we need to understand what do they mean by they say Venn diagram. What's the meaning of Venn diagram and uh, what can we just say Venn diagram look like? Venn diagram is just a diagram that is invented by by John Venn. So according to um Venn diagram, Venn diagram is just a diagrammatic representation of sets. That just is short definition. Is a, just a tutorial diagrammatic representation of offsets. That is the representation of offset in the diagram form. She get down. That's just the diagram. But what is notation? Notation are those. They are the signs or symbols. We call them symbols that is used when solving um, any question or set. They are just a sign or symbol that is assigned to us. Assign. They are just. Let me just call them operations. Okay, but they are also known as operation because they operate. We have to find intercept. Intercept is an operation. Union is also an, an operation. So all these are they are the symbols. Notation, they are set notations. Don't worry, I'll give you an example. Alright, let's just start from notation. Let's say you're having something like this. You are giving something like this. Then what do you think that thing is? If you're having something like this. We can actually call this. Uh this is actually is not a is not a um uh, it's not a subset this is a proper subset proper subset let's just call this proper set or you call this proper subset you have this kind of sign let's say you're having this kind of sign this is known as what as super set can you see this now so now let's say you have something like this this is known as what as subset you are right can you see this now then let's say you have something like this this is also known as, as universal, universal set, right? Now let's say you have something like this. This is known as, as no set. Let's say you have something like this, cardinality of A. This sign is known as cardinality. Cardinality. So this is cardinality of set A. Now let's say you have something like this, um, A complement. This thing, this sign on top, or you see, a represents what? Complement. Complement of set A. Complement of what? Of set A. So that's also complement of what? Of set A. Now, another thing, let's say you have something like this. This is also what? A universal, universal set. Then let's say you have something like this. This is known as what? Junior of two sets. That's it. And then let's say you have something like this. This is what intercept. Intercept of what of the sets. And so on. And uh another thing is that we have equality of the sets. This one this time is what equality. Popular known as equals to let's say this one also means what not equality. Can this down? So let's quickly move to the Venn diagram. Let's say you have something like this. You have a set A and set B. Your universal set is there. So in this case, the shaded portion, what, what do you think the shaded portion will be, will be? If you look at this very well, these are set A, right? And these are what? Set B. Then what do you think is going to be? The shaded portion indicates that this is where A intercept was B. So this is actually known as what? A intersection b the shaded portion is what a intersection b then let's move towards to the second one the second one you're having your set a and set b all shaded guys that they've shaded everything so in this case down the outside is known as what as the a union b complements but the inside the shaded portion is known as what that's your a union b because they shaded by everything. That's the addition of the two. Let's move to the third case. You're having set A inside. Can you see that? But they have shaded all this outward, all these outside parts. This inside is known as what? A set A only. You see this side is known as what? A complements or you write it like this A complements. This side that they shade is known as what? A complements. Then let's say you have something like this. You have a set A, and you have another set inside it, which is just B. 
In this case, what are you going to call this one? Is it a proper subset or a subset or a, a super subset? If you look at this very well, A superset B. This is A super what? Superset B. Can I down? But B is a what? Proper subset of what? Of A. Very simple. Just look at this. A super subset what? B. And our B is a subset of what? Of A. Is a proper subset of A. Now looking at this next case, they've shaded your A parts and also your B parts. But they they leave this side alone for you unshaded. So now what do you think the shaded portion will be? The shaded portion will be what? No, this one is actually what intersect. This is intersect. But the shaded portion will be what? A intersection B or complement. Which is what? A intersection B or what? Or complement. That is, they are not part of what of the intersection. That's what it means. Then let's move to what to the sixth question. To the sixth um, case here, you having your A set A, which is this set B, which is this, let or shaded, but the rest are what I've already shaded. The, the shaded part is going to be what? What's going to be the shaded part? The shaded part since this is what this is junior of the two. The outside here, if you look at this, this is the junior of the two. That's a junior of the two. So the outside is what A junior B complement. So here you have your A junior B complement. Because this shaded part is what is A union B complement, or you use this side, anyone you like. Then let's see this side. This place, they don't shade it, they don't shade it, but they shade everything here. But if you look at this now, follow this part. Everything here like this is our A. But they let this one, you know, because it is intersect, intersect of what A and B. But if you look at this very well like this, in this case, they are talking about what? They are talking about A intersection B. Complement that is, it is not, it doesn't even touch the part of what of B. Shake it down. So, A interaction B complement. Another name that I can give it is known as what A only. Can this down? So, you can call this A holy or you call this A interaction B complement because if you look at this, this B, it doesn't have anything to do with what with A. This interaction is what is with B. So, everything is with what it's with B. So, here we are having what A only, only A, which is A interaction B or A only. Now, let's check the second case. If you try to answer this by yourself, you know, this case is also set up as this. That's it. But in this case, this is also what? This A complement intersection what? B. It's just reverse or the, the reverse same case. They've just they shaded B in now, but for the shade what? They shade A. So in this case, this is A intersection B complement. But you can actually call this what? B only. Can it down? You can call this B only. So that's just it. That's that. Now, after um, after this video, I'm going to solve some series of questions under uh, two. Let's say two sets, two by two sets. Let's call it two by two sets. Sets A and sets B. So I'm going to solve maybe like at least four to three questions on it. After that, we move to what we move to identification of what of um of sets of notations under. Or let me just say representation of what of sets using. Theory by theory set. So in this case, this is also by two sets. You have two sets A and B. So I hope you find this this video useful. Thanks for watching. Okay.